In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the widget mode within the Sphere 2 software. To start your widget mode, simply go to the right hand bottom corner of your screen and click on the widget mode icon. This will minimize the Sphere 2 software and open your widget mode on your desktop on the top right hand side corner. You would be able to actually resize the screen as required. Today we will be using this example within a PowerPoint presentation which I've already prepared. On my first slide would be my intro and then on my second slide I always advise my teachers to make provision in within your PowerPoint presentation to place your camera. I'll start my slideshow presentation and I'm going to move my widget mode and resize according to my requirements. Remember that if you want to record this lesson, you will now need to start your recording. Once you've clicked on record, you'll notice that on the top left hand side corner, your record button is flashing blue and red. This means that we are recording. I have a live camera feed and I have my PowerPoint presentation running. I would be able to still click to move to my next slide. In my next slide, I have an example of jumping to an internet browser to ESCOM's website in terms of how to wire a plug. I would be able to click on that and my software will automatically still have the widget mode on top. So once again, just resize that according to your requirements. And then you would be able to have the discussion on how to wire a free prompt plug. Once you are done, you can just close off your internet browser be back in your PowerPoint presentation and continue your lesson. I would be able then to once again go to my next slide where I've said okay now let's start wiring a free prompt plug. I'm going to resize according to my requirements again. To start off I'll undo my plug, I'll open that up and then we'll have a discussion that we actually have our neutral on the left hand side we have our life and we have our earth and you would be able to demonstrate now to your students in terms of how to wire the free prong plug. Once you are done with your lesson, it's important to once again go back to your recording, stop it and that would be the end of your recording. You would then be able to close off all your applications from there. 